Hi, and welcome to the Senior Network. I'm your host, Greg Fulton, along with my co-host, Debbie Lyons. Good to see it's you. It's great to see you. Great show today. We're here at Jim Keefe's funeral home. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous place. And we are joined by the one and only Becky Davis. What can I say? Thank the of Hilton Head. <laughs> and Carrie Babcock. Pruitt Health Home Health. Good, Good to, to see be you here. again. Good this is here. like the old home crew here I today. I know, yeah. and I think we all were in the same spot not long ago. Uh, exactly. Yeah. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a change of seasons now, so we're kind of curious about sure. what's going on with all three. I am uh, with all three of you. With the transition from summer into fall, do you all see a difference in your census, what you're doing? How do things change? Well, uh, at the Cypress, let me just say, we are pretty much busy 365 days out of a year. That being said, we do see more interest um, from families when, when families come together. So when folks are together mm -hmm. at 4th of July, you know, the mm -hmm. following week, we get a lot of phone calls from children saying, hey, you know, mom and dad, we're, we think that it's now time for them to, to look for the services of the Cypress. Okay. Um, and here, you know, with um, Labor Day weekend, uh, we'll, we'll expect a lot of folks yeah. calling. Um, again, families coming together. Um, and the other thing, the fall, you know, it's uh, the island is quiet. A little more quiet. Yes, yes. yes. It's quiet. And so our, our members are reaching out, doing more things on the island. Uh, we're planning more trips to the theaters and Atlanta, Savannah. Tri it's just easier to navigate the, the island. Well. When, when families come in, and this goes to all three sure. of you all, do they want sort of a comprehensive continuum of care? In other words, let's say they go to the Cypress and say, okay, where are we going to live? Let's get that in order. What about home health care? What about the home, you know, what about hospice, home health care, all of these other things? D are they looking when they are down there for different resources? Absolutely. But first off, it's an education. Okay. We have not made it easy in this industry as far as our terminology. Right. Um, um, children who are like average age 40, 50 looking for their folks, they get caught up in the language. They confuse independent living with assisted right. living. Mm -hmm. They confuse assistance in living with hospice care, mm -hmm. hospice care with home health care. I mean, aging in place. I hear that buzzword. Exactly. What does that mean? And I mean, it's like you need. Okay, let's pull out the dictionary yeah. first. You okay. know, let's go through all the terminology, and then the other head scratcher is they come in with their um, long-term care insurance policy. We're like, we have. They have this. And Mom and Dad. Different. They have no wow. idea what this covers. Yeah. You know, yeah. and and yeah. waiting period yeah. versus elimination period. Yeah. Uh, versus deductible of days. Right. I mean, I wish we could just, you know, rubber stamp and all say the same thing at the same time. That's but why we that's have the show, right? Well, that's yeah, exactly. exactly. No, that's the whole people point. actually watch it's, this yeah. show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you told us that a few weeks ago. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. So for you, what are you <coughs> seeing transition-wise into the season, and how does this affect you? And from a language point of view, how do we define what you're doing? Well, um, I'll start with the language point of view. Um, <clears throat> I'm with Pruitt Health Home yes. Health, and what we offer are skilled, uh, skilled nursing, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, in the home. Okay. So we will come to your house with our um, skilled clinical team and evaluate each patient and put it together a care plan for them. They'll get we'd send back to their doctor and that's how we treat patients at home and it's a critical part of the healthcare system these days in that hospitals are getting penalized if patients get readmitted within 30 days okay so mm -hmm. um, the hospitals really want somebody in the patient's home not only from the clinical aspect but also to, to evaluate the home um, you know if a person's oh. a fall risk do they have extension cords lying on the ground do they have throw rugs that could maybe cause a problem so that's kind of what we do as far as um, you know the seasonality of it I think here this is kind of a unique market and right. there is a little bit of seasonality mm -hmm. and that a lot of our um, what we would call kind of permanent um, residents they do go back up north uh, you know mm -hmm. see family their grandkids are on summer vacation they can go spend time with them so I think in the fall um, we'll probably get a little bit busier. Are you 100% um, client referred from the physician, physician referred? Yes, there has to be a doctor's order for our services. Okay. Um, whereas with Greg, I think it's a little bit different, but choice. yes, we do have to have a doctor. It's a choice. Okay. Now, if it gets into, not to complicate, if it gets into any kind of skilled nursing need, okay. then you would need 
an order from a doc. Like you know, medications. Obviously, you need prescription to do that. Yeah. But but from a from a supportive um, care. Yes. That magic okay, word. That's yeah. right. You supportive do not. Supportive care. You do you not. Do not. No. Choice, like you said. Okay. So when you come in, do you actually evaluate the home? Do you kind of walk around and take a look at ways that we can improve it? Our clinical team would. Um, okay. And medication <laughs> adherence is something that I think we do a very good job of educating the patient. And, you know, we were talking about terminology. When it comes to prescription medications, there's all these brand names and um, generics and this yes. and that. And our team will simplify it for the patient, literally nice. go through and say, this green pill, yeah. you have to right. take this in the morning, and this is what it does. It makes you know your heart stay in rhythm, whatever. So um, I think what we do a really good job of is kind of educating the patient, evaluating cool. their, and, and we don't have a um, we don't have a pre-planned program. Okay. The, nothing cookie cutter. It's all based on that individual patient's need, and every patient is unique. So the doctor would say, I really think it would be great mm -hmm. to do, uh, to have you in twice a week, once a week, and then they would say OT, PT, whatever, whatever? Yeah, the, the doctor would probably, the way it usually works is a doctor would assign maybe nursing for teaching or nursing for evaluation and okay. assessment and maybe physical therapy. And then once our nurse comes in, evaluates the patients, we do kind of a little interview. They'll look over all their paperwork mm -hmm. and their clinical. And then they will put together a care plan and get that back to the doctor. And then the doctor can make adjustments or just sign off on it if they think it's appropriate. Sure. And so you guys can all play together. We in all, other words, we play in the same playground. Yes, exactly, we <laughs> you play in the same playground, which mm -hmm. is. But yeah. but seriously, they oh, yeah. can live at the Cypress. Have you there? Uh -huh. yeah. Have yeah. you and they come do. And, we do. Yeah. and so that that makes so much sense. I know we're going to take a quick okay. break, and we'll be right back. There's a lot more to talk about.